Okay, here is the Blitz suspension for a Nissan Leaf that I'm selling. I had it fitted to a Generation 1 Nissan Leaf. The manual makes it suggest that it will fit a Generation 2 as well, but um, I can't guarantee that. So, I had this fitted to my Gen 1 Leaf for a few months. I loved the way it made it handle. Uh, my partner wasn't so keen. She didn't like the way it made her teeth rattle. Um, and also, she had some jobs, still has some jobs down some fairly um, gnarly driveways around here in Raglan. So the car was good at scraping its bottom, which wasn't good for it. Um, another reason we've moved, well, <clears throat> we moved on also because we never got the thing complied. We, we just put it on to see if we liked it. I liked it, she didn't, so off it came. I bought it from Trade Me about a year, year and a half ago. It sat in my workshop for ages before I got around to fitting it. Um, we have front struts, and they are adjustable here for droop, for ride height, um, and then for um, damping hardness. So. This here is the only spot where there's any kind of a problem with these, I'd say. You can see the rubber boot has gone manky. So this one, yeah, there you go. You can see it's, it's just breaking up. Um, this one's worse. There's less of it on here. Uh, I'm sure if you go through that with Google Translate, you can find the rubber boot parts and find a way of buying them. I never bothered because, yeah, my partner decided that she didn't want them on the car so more, anymore. The other thing is that this little guy here doesn't click the ball detent. You know, normally it goes click, click, click. It doesn't, so you've just got to sort of more count or maybe spend a little bit more time with some CRC on it. I did spend a little bit of time soaking it in CRC but didn't get it properly clean. And yeah, there we go, so it lifts off. So somewhere in there, a little bit of CRC, and that should be sweet. This is what they're meant to go like. Don't know if you can hear that, but it's very positively clicking. So yeah, front units. There's the part numbers on it. There is the age of the strut. Um, I believe I bought these, I believe the guy I bought these off works for GVI in Auckland and they don't want to sell modified cars so I think they just put standard suspension on it and flick this off on Trade Me. So yeah, front, rears, here the boots are still whole. Again, adjustable droop. Um, nice, it's, it's all really nicely made stuff. It's, um, yeah, the anodized, it's proper nice little bling. Um, springs. Adjustable platform, so that's your ride height on the back. And then top of the struts here, you've got your... Can't do it one-handed. No, I can't do it one-handed at all. Anyhow, you've got your adjustment there for your... for your um, damping. God. Fail. So, there you go. Front, rear. Oh, another tiny little thing is some of the paint on some of the springs is starting to chip, but I really don't think that's much of an issue. So that's the front struts, rear, rear struts. Um, you got your C spanner, so you can adjust it all up. You have got these, which go on the rear struts. They go here. She let me do it all, so. You need two per side and a nut. So you take this guy off. You put one of these on. You put that on with the don rubber donuts that come out of the original suspension. Put another one on top. And that's where the car body shell goes through. And you bolt this down, put that on, and you put that through. So. That's your hardware for the back. You've only got two of these because it only came with two. 
um, you need to drill out your old ones to this size of hole when you take them off your car. So yeah, you need you need to use reuse these from your existing car. Um, and then for the front, you've got the three nuts that go on the top of here and three big washers. These are not the right washers. They do the job. They're not pretty. You might want to get some shiny red ones. Who knows? Um, and then you've got a part of the box I kept because it basically tells you how to do everything. It's just what I described there on the rear strut. Um, so that's a really useful guide. And then here, the manual. Google Translate sort of gets some of this, but um, all you really need to know is this here, whether you're putting it on the ZEO, which is the Gen 1 leaf, and I know it fits this, or the Gen 2, the AZEO, which it might fit. Um, yeah, all your instructions. So there you go. That's my Gen 1, uh, my Nissan Leaf Gen 1, possibly Gen 2 Blitz suspension kit for sale. Sorry to be selling it, but hope whoever buys it enjoys it. All right, um, ask any questions below and I'll answer them if they're not too stupid. Good luck. Be free with your bidding.